House Bill 442 is a relatively complicated bill that really gets down deep in the weeds of how we assess income taxes. But it really is kind of simple. There's two types of states right now with regards to income tax. You have your market sourcing states, those states that say you pay income tax on the revenue you generate to the state you generate it in. So if I'm in uh, California and I run a business there and I sell services into uh, Pennsylvania, the expectation is I won't pay income taxes on the revenue that I generated in Pennsylvania to California. I'll pay it to the state of Pennsylvania. Conversely, cost of performance states like Virginia say that regardless of where you generate the revenue, when you sell a service into another state, you need to pay income taxes on that revenue you generate to the Commonwealth of Virginia. And as you can imagine, that's causing some double taxation issues for some businesses in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Virginia doesn't give a credit uh, on the income taxes they pay for the other states, so essentially it's that double taxation issue. So we're trying to clean that up a little bit so we don't penalize large companies for locating in the Commonwealth. We want to bring business here and grow jobs here and not lose them. And I think this is a process that we'll continue forward with for the next couple of years to really get this language fixed.